Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Division video and of course the usual weekly vendor reset. However, today I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'm not going to do what I usually do and go through every single one of the vendors showing you all of the items, whether they're good or bad. Because 1.4 is so close now, it's on Tuesday, I'm literally just going to tell you the things that you should consider buying if you want to. But everything else, just do not bother spending your money because 1.4 is so close now. It's going to introduce new blueprints and new gear score weapons. You won't actually get new weapons per se, but you'll have new gear score versions of the weapons you know and new relevant blueprints. So the long and short of it is there's going to be a lot of stuff you're going to want to buy in 1.4. So spending money this close to it is just honestly a waste of your time. So there are a few select items this week you might want to consider. But beyond that, everything else you can ignore. So if you do enjoy this, you do find it helpful, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions, but let's get started. And let's start by diving into DZ03. This is, of course, where you go to get your weapons. And the only thing I'm going to recommend here is the converted SMG9. And the reason I say that is because if you scroll down, you can see it has skilled, it has brutal, and it has commanding. Skilled is a very, very good talent. I've said this time and time again. With a few headshot kills, you can easily get your signature skill back. And of course, in 1.4, Recovery Link is a really good signature skill. But regardless, getting back any signature skill quickly is a very good thing to have. On top of that, Brutal is a given for SMGs. It's a really nice talent to have. In fact, it's nice on a lot of weapons. And Commanding is, of course, the one that you would roll out. And because it's in the free slot, whatever you roll out in place of this would then not cost you anything. And the other good thing about this is it's 204. So you would not use this as a primary SMG. This would only be for use if you were considering an Alpha Bridge build. I use Alpha Bridge in 1.3. I can tell you that Alpha Bridge is going to be good in 1.4 among a few other builds as well. There'll definitely be a lot more options for gear builds in 1.4, but Alpha Bridge is strong. I really like it. And if you're running Alpha Bridge, you never want to run with two gear score 229 weapons because the requirements for the skills are just so high, it's just not necessary. You're always best running with one low gear score weapon because the requirements are low and one high gear score weapon as your primary or your only solitary weapon. So this is a good one to purchase. It's not that expensive. It's only 96,000 Dark Zone funds. True, you do have to be DZ rank 80. So in that respect, there's a little bit of a barrier to entry for that. And if you're not DZ rank 80, don't worry because there is another skilled option coming later in this video. So for the time being, DZ03 converted SMG9 is the only thing I would recommend. Then next up, moving over to DZ04. This is, of course, where you go to get your mods. And again, the only thing I would recommend this week would be the performance gear mod blueprint. Now, do bear in mind, there will be level 33 versions of these blueprints in 1.4. But the reason I say I recommend this one, I wouldn't recommend the electronics one, but the reason I recommend the performance gear mod ones, simply because, let's be honest, when 1.4 comes out, you're probably going to be more focused on buying gear pieces, buying weapons, buying the kind of noteworthy items that the vendors have. And things like performance gear mods will probably be your second or your third priority. So in that respect, a level 32 performance gear mod will be more than enough to keep you going for a while until you get through all of your weapons, your gear pieces, and then you start looking to min-max through things like performance gear mods. Do bear in mind, in 1.4, performance gear mods are going to be very important. They have dedicated separate slots to regular gear mods, so they're important to kind of buff some of your skills. So if you're using, say, Sticky Bomb, or you're using Pulse or Smart Cover, you're going to want to find performance gear mods that benefit those skills, slot them in, and use them to enhance your skills that way. So they're super important, and as mentioned, Level 32, to begin with, in whatever you're kind of gearing up in, it's going to be more than enough. It's going to be better than having none at all. And then much later down the line, you can replace them with 33. After that, leaving the Dark Zone, taking a stop at the Special Equipment Vendor at the top of the base operations. The only weapon I'm going to recommend this week is the Military P416 Gear Squad 204. And again, the reason for this is because the second skill is skilled. It actually has some really good talents all over. It's got Fierce, Skilled, and Brutal. So that is a very, very nice set of talents anyway. And that makes it a prime candidate for an Alpha Bridge build using Assault Rifles. Again, skilled, very useful, echoing what I said before. So if you're not, say, DZ rank 80 and you do still want a weapon with this, then you could definitely consider it. I mean, even if you're not running Alpha Bridge, just having this to have skilled is still also going to be very useful. But of course, if you do go the whole nine yards and you do use this as a kind of, you know, secondary to your Alpha Bridge build, then you're going to have three very nice talents that are also not going to have a very high requirement. Brutal is already free, which is massive. Plus fierce and skilled. And that means you're then free to have some other skills on your 229 variant. And that will give you a nice loadout. So this is a 717 Phoenix credits. Not too bad. So definitely consider this one again if you uh, haven't got a skilled weapon. Then finally, your last recommendation this week comes in the form of a Gear Score 163 PP19. Again, this is only going to be a candidate for Alpha Bridge. But this has a very nice set of talents. Brutal. Deadly and hurried. Of course, hurried if you're using an SMG or if you're using a PP19 can still be nice, but if you don't like that, you can roll that out for a free talent in that slot, and you do still have two very nice talents 
with also very low requirements because it's only gear score 163. So again, using this enough bridge is a definite, in fact, this is so good, I'm going to buy one right now because I definitely do want this weapon. So that is pretty much it for this week. Those are your recommendations. Again, I wanted to keep this really kind of short this week. I'll be back to the normal format next week where I show you everything because, of course, when 1.4 drops, there'll be loads of cool stuff to talk about. But this week, given how close we are to 1.4, didn't want to waste your time, I wanted to keep it hyper-focused and just tell you guys the important things that you might want to consider. Besides that, spend the weekend making sure you have credits, make sure you have Dark Zone funds, Phoenix credits, normal credits, everything like that. It'll all be very useful to you, so save up that, save up your steel caches. If you guys want to know how to prepare for 1.4, I did do a video on that, so I'll drop that in the description box down below. But besides that, that is it. So thank you very much for watching, have a good weekend, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.